Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are in Alton Towers for the Scarefest Festival. Um, we don't get started till about half past seven tonight, but um, we're going to head off to about Rita. Rita and 13 to start the day off, good style. Um, so yeah, enjoy me in a minute. Fucking awesome, 13 here. We'll be going out straight after Rita. But now it's time for the Queen of Speed. Now I think it's probably the quickest I've ever actually been on this ride. Probably be uh, on this in about two, three minutes or so. 13, and you see that right there, zero minutes. I think my hair's still in one piece, but we've just come off Rita and walking out, that's quite fast. As you can probably imagine, it's the Queen of Speed. But now we're queuing up for 13, and when I say queuing, I probably mean we'll be on pretty much in about a minute. So, yeah, today's a very good day to come, as always. We always pick the best, don't we, John? The best one, we do! There we go. No. Oh, you monster, fucking trick. This is the point where I wish I had fucking night vision. What the hell? No cue. Walking on again. Okay, now we're in the Forbidden Valley. I'm going to make a way to. Air and Nemesis. So far we've been on 13 Rita and we've just come off air so now we're heading towards Nemesis and so far we've been here about an hour we've been on almost four rides so here's the next one. Walking on to, uh, to Nemesis now, no queue but to be honest it never is especially when Smiler was first released no one ever came on this ride and now we're making our way there and it's a little bit wet and uh, I'm just going downhill. Bloody hell. I can see that they've gotten rid of the uh, the red water, the stream that's going down. Yeah, because beforehand it used to be just like the same colour as blood, but now they're just uh, cutbacks. Cutbacks. <laughs> by the way, things are going, I think we've probably gone all the big rides by the end of probably say one, two o'clock. So, so far, you know, incredible day. Today is the, the 20th of October and uh, yeah, Old Tower Scarefest. I'll be filming some more tonight so uh, keep watching. Oh, I'm popping in this room, look at this room. Yeah. 
Nah, and this is the time when I beat John. John's crying already that I've got an advantage of being I. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! This is crazy. Put my score on there. Bitches, 108,400. Got double its score. So, yeah, me and John have just got a um, Nitrogeni. What the hell is it? It's Nutella. Bloody hell. And John says it tastes just like Nutella. Thankfully, he does. Now, uh, there's only one way to do this, John. That is to enjoy it. Put it all on your face, you know. Happy Stuart. I've got my chin. <laughs> Rapids time. Chocolate time. Rapids time. God, God, it's not even focusing that well. One of the best places on earth at the moment. <coughs> Pizza and pasta you can eat. Eleven pounds. Bear about this. Rapids time and look. No queue. What a surprise. Since the weather isn't the best today, my hair is a little bit fluffy. But I've got no chocolate around my mouth. Seems I ate that nitrogeny little shitly Nutella chocolate thing. Absolutely beautiful. <sighs> I'm full now, John. I've had a Yorkie bar and I've had that. Just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> yep, remain seated, everyone in that bag. Yeah, so far today, perfect. Yeah, there's a little thing between me and John when we come here. It's always John who seems to get wet, but at the moment, it looks like it's gonna be me. Oh, maybe not. God. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, John. Oh, John. What oh, fucking Yeah, John doesn't want me to film him, but you should have just seen it then. He's got a, a broken elbow, and uh, he's trying to hang with a dear life on this ride. He's just going back and forth like that. Oh, I'm just going to look what's in the camera. Nah, that's fine. I shouldn't get too wet. Oh! Oh! John's going to get wet! <laughs> John's going to get wet. I don't think he got wet that well. Oh, they got soaked! <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Wow. There's nothing. There's nothing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right on me, that is. That's right on me. Oh, wait. Hey, John. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. I've been worried about that. Oh, oh my God, John. I'm so sorry, but... <laughs> Shit. You would have got so... Oh, wow. Glad why uh, you don't come on here, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, a cloudy and sunny day. Oh, God. Oh, John, I feel sorry for you. <laughs>
Oh, I shouldn't be laughing, really. That's me. That's me. Now it's the thing behind us in the distance, which is the problem. Oh, please don't get me, not again, not again, not again! <laughs> They're just aiming for me! Just aiming for it, to tell you. Uh, and I think that pretty much sums up the, the rapids for us. A little bit wet, not too bad. Not too bad, I can't even get it right. Oh no, please. Yeah, so yeah. If you want to have a good day and you want to come to the rapids, make sure it's on a sunny day because, yeah, it's a bit wet. We're back again on the rapids, seeing as there was no queue whatsoever, we were allowed to stay on. And we thought, you know what, we'll make it a competition, see who gets the wettest. Obviously, John got wet the first time and he believes that it's like a curse or something because he keeps getting wet and not me. So, um, we'll see what happens after this ride. Rapids, as you can tell, no fucks given. Off the rapids for the second time, and yeah, oh, I'm pretty wet. Yeah, the first time we went on, John got it, and now the second time, I got it. So, that's why we're gonna do best of three and see who wins the uh, who gets the wettest. <laughs> yeah. Making a way to Sonic Screwball, or was it Spinball? It's one of the two anyway. Own Towers at its best, Scarefest. See what it did there? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Okay, it's actually called Sonic Pinball. Spinball. One. And yet, yet again, it's no cue whatsoever. It's just walk on, it's, I can't believe how much the whole smiling incident which happened at the start of the year has affected the business as a whole. It's incredible. But um, obviously it's better for us, but not for everyone else. But I, I still recommend that everyone still comes to Alton Towers and just still trust them because they're a fantastic company and you know, the rides are such a brilliant experience to have. So yeah, definitely make your way down here, especially affect Scarefest, top notch. Background over there. That's right, though. 
it out. <laughs> so yeah, I've just been on Oblivion, like I say earlier, no queue. So I think we've done the majority of the main lines now. Incredible. And it's not even that late, it's probably like one o'clock or something like that. So yeah, now we're gonna make our way round and see what else we can uh, venture onto. One of the best places in the world, the arcades. Wherever you go, you've got to get one. So yeah, this is the Smiley area, and I think it's just this point here where the uh, the coasters collided with each other. Enterprise right now, and um, yeah, it's one of those rides where he uses gravity to keep you in the carriage, and he goes upside down pretty much. So, oh, there we go. I'm starting to go upside down now. As you can probably tell. <laughs> oh, this is a head fucker. This is. Oh, I'm going straight up. Oh, you can see all the G's on my face. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. Let's go on Hex. Wow. Yeah, it's real or not, but it's the queue with this, you just have to go around. And, uh... Interesting. He's the Shrewsbury back to his home, Alton Towers. As the journey neared its end, a mysterious figure suddenly appeared in the room. For nearly 200 years, the entrance or even existence of the Earl's Vault has remained a complete mystery until recent restorations revealed a mysterious passageway hidden behind an ancient bookcase. It was this passageway which unearthed a secret stranger than anyone. <laughs> Still to this day, I don't know how it works. I'll have to Google this shit when I get home. But no, I think it's time for lunchtime now. So, after this, I think we're just going to repeat all the rides that we've been on already. So, we've got Air, Nemesis, um, Oblivion, etc. So, 13 Rita. So, we'll be heading to them after dinner. So, yeah, kids, stay tuned. What was life? Oh, if only I was small enough, I would definitely be on that. God, my hair is like a right mess. That's what happens when you go and read it twice. 
Anyway, we're going on 13 again. Seeing as there's all the big rides have practically no queue. So, you know, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? You've paid your money. Uh, you might as well go on all the rides again. But so I think we're going on this and the rapids, making our way through some of the other rides. And then hopefully by the time, it should be about five o'clock, which are all the mazes, which are available for the public for, I think it's free of charge. So we're always going to go on them. And then around about 7.30, we're going to the mazes, which we paid for, three mazes for £20. So that should be interesting because they're all new to um, the Scarefest this year, 2015. So hopefully it should be good. Hey guys, welcome back. We are in the Skylift. We are going towards Air and Nemesis. So we should be going on that again. And I swear this keeps on slowing down. It must be stopping soon. But no, um, I thought I'd do a little uh, update on what we're doing. We've been on probably the majority of the rides twice. Apart from these two that we're about to go on again. Today has been a very good day and John's eating his Pringles. <laughs> Bless him. Turns out our badgers are a breed of speed freelancers. The whole family of them living under one of our rides by day before coming out to play when night falls. John. What the fuck? Are they dressed up as that or are they, are they a part of the tower? Weird. Just to be calm! It's like training in the dark! That's one thing for life. Just got there, just a somersault. And here we are, at last. Today, at this precise moment in time, we're going on the rapids and we need to settle the score between me and John. It is 1-1 one, one at the moment, so it's best of three, or two, or whatever. But, um, yeah, see who gets the wettest and obviously who wins, basically is the wettest man alive. How the fuck would you get a puncher for two pounds? Jesus Christ. Okay, we're back on the rapids and we decided not allowed to move whatsoever, sitting opposite to give it quite a fair game. So it's 50-50 really on who is the wettest man alive. So yeah, I think John might win. Not sure. Hope not, but Woo! Oh you motherfucker! <laughs> so far, John's uh, winning. That doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> we both got there. We both got it, because you can see it all over you. No, <laughs> not again. Not again. Not again. Not again. <laughs> oh, you hear that new evil laugh, bitch? Oh, completely wet. Oh. To be honest, I think it's a draw. Me and John. I think it's a draw. I think it's a draw. Safe to say. Oh, oh. My feet are soaking. My, my, my whole body is soaking. Mine's not. <laughs> so, what, should we call that a draw, John? Yeah. Yeah, we'll end today on the rapids as a draw. So, it's two wall. Same with anything, we can't leave it as a draw. So what we've decided, which is quite stupid really, because last time this happened, I got soaked, that we're gonna go for the final one. So it's gonna be the best of three. No draws, no nothing, same rules apply. So I can't see myself getting another draw. That's it, John's already wet. <laughs> Straight away, in fact. Yeah. Been on again for about 15 seconds and he's already wet, so um, this is very promising for me. But uh, I'm sure you've seen enough uh, rapid footage for today, 
So what I'm going to do is just going to cut it. <laughs> there is a god. I've got to get this because this looks like it's going to be really bad on my behalf. Or maybe not. <laughs> John keeps getting wet. So yeah. It's just his, it's his monthly bath anyway. So. Oh, that, that that's karma. No, nothing. <laughs> just keep my feet up high. No, 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 me. John, it's way gonna get wet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you you won that that challenge, John. <laughs> so today we can crown you. The watch just won. I will go that one. Uh. Guess what time it is? Donut time. Yum, 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 yum. Now for the scare zones, we need to head over to there, there, and these are the three mazes which we're going to later on about seven o'clock. So all will go as well. Should be done for about nine. What a day. <laughs> oh shit, she's behind me. She's behind me. She's behind me. <laughs> Look it up, tell ya. <laughs> 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 so we're approaching uh, the final hours of Alton Towers. It's been a really good day. Um, John's behind me just on his phone Snapchatting, so you can see him going in the camera. But now we're just about to go on Oblivion, and we've got about 45 minutes to wait until we're allowed to go on the uh, the mazes. I think it's uh, something like the Curse of Summit Crow, uh, Terror of Towers, or Towers of Terror, something like that. But um, no, it's been a really good day and uh, I can't wait to go on the mazes because they're all new routes and new um, attractions for the theme park. So hopefully uh, they can make a, a regular occurrence. Otherwise, I won't be coming back next year because I've already been. But no, it's been really good. Plus, we're about to go on Oblivion and it's quite dark at the moment. Well, it is here anyway. It's probably the lights trying to make it a bit lighter. But no, Oblivion in the dark is going to be, as I say in Italian, Mamma mia, the bad thing. <laughs> there we go, we're back. The forest. And it's night time. 
almost time for the meters. So one last go on 13, they should be back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Help me, John. Help me, John. Help me, John. Oh, she's following. She's following. No, she's not. <laughs> she's looking. She's looking, John. Oh, she's, she's really following you. She's still following you. She's whispering to you, John. She's saying, I love you. I forgot about these people. Walk through the, uh, the mist now. Shit, I can't see. Oh no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think he wants to get out. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to 13. <laughs> oh, someone has a picture with them. She don't want a picture. <laughs> Here we're at 13 in the dark. Don't think we've done it before in the dark, but um, let's see how it goes. Seems it's all going to be outside and all scary creatures jumping out at you and shit knows. Anyway, Ow. here we go. God, he's hurt already before we even go on. Even though you're shit scared of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pitch. Okay, so now we're about to go on one of the mazes, the Terror Towers one. So um, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I think you have to walk around the hall. Fucking, it's really bright, isn't it? But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, we did this one last year, but now there's a new route. So to be honest, if it was the same one, I wouldn't lie. Would you, John? I wouldn't even know, I can't even remember. It was just too dark. It's not even the same experience, is it? Nah, it won't be. But no, um, I'll keep you posted on what comes next. But uh, we're in for a spooky evening, eh, John? <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Offensive. So there you have it, Halloween Scarefest 2015 in Alton Towers is done with. So yeah, we've just been on the three mazes which we paid for, and I think it went really, really well. I'm not going to share any of the secrets with you, because I don't want to spoil it for any of you guys who are waiting to go. Anyway, um, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching, and please leave a like, subscribe, and comment just to uh, show me that you care. <laughs> right, this is Tolson speaking, and see you later. Adiós. Hey. Hey. Oh, <laughs>